The midwifery symposium was officially opened by the Minister for Health and HIV AIDS, Dr. Lino Tom, supported by the Secretary for Department of Health, Dr. Osborne Liko. It was a proud moment for Interim President Mary Sitiang, who had participated in the past three symposiums as a Vice President. The main thing is just to get midwives together um, for their learning, research presentations, case, and we have skill stations as well. So we left to equip midwives on all this due to the maternal mortality is an issue in Papua New Guinea. But I think we've done very well. In the last uh, few years, our maternal mortality was 733 per 100,000. But it has gone down as now as the minister has said 171 per 100,000. The midwives came from both urban and rural health facilities, including nurse training centers and universities some from very remote places who paid their own way to participate in the symposium. A team from Southern Islands Province, led by Provincial Brands President Veronica Hondina, were hopeful to learn new skills and procedures in this symposium. We've gone through a lot of crisis last year, this year. Uh, earthquake, we faced the earthquake and COVID almost put us, put us down, but we are still alive, thank God. So we have a good referral pathway with our patients and ourselves. Our mothers from the remotes, we contact them. We have a CUG phone in place, so we call, and they, they, all the officers, the officers in the rural health, they have the CUG phone. CUG phones have proven to be life-saving tools Sister Hondina and her colleagues stressed that midwives use them to communicate with colleagues in remote places for the purpose of saving lives, especially for mothers in labor and their newborn babies. Frida Kana, TV1 News. Thanks for watching TV1 News. Please like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay up to date with the latest news. Thank you.